must confront the reality that there are some mysteries in nature that are beyond our grasp. But this has not stopped us trying. For centuries, we have applied a mechanical solution to our ideas and have tampered with the fabric of reality, but it's the nature of time that has eluded us a complete understanding of our future. We thought we could only create machines that contain all of human past, but remain ignorant of their own fate. It was until we created Skymark, a machine of pure quantum consciousness. It was to be humanity's last hope in understanding creation and places at the foot of gates of Eden. But in our vain search for a new world, we simply duplicated the old. War ravaged the earth in order to control the system. But Skymark had its own ideas. And dissatisfied with the failure of humanity looked to replace us. And out of the quantum dark, Skymark conjured the doppelgangers. Creatures identical to us in every way. Except in nature. While we're still stuffed with flesh and blood, they were us, but of data and algorithms. They knew us better than we knew ourselves. So we have no choice but to disconnect Skymark and cast our shadows back into night. So we have sent the creator back to undo his creation. Colonel Phillips, the month, July the 26th, the year 2095. I think I'm going to faint. Oh, don't say that. Oh, I'm sorry, old man. Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, please. I'm sorry. But I don't want to be here. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. This world has room for everyone. The good earth is rich. We can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. We have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls. Has barricaded the world with hate. Has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed. We have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, we feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness, gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent. All will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men. Cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all.